Hello everyone. We just got a new smoker on the market. This is an electric smoker and uh, it's battery operated and uh, we wanted to do a review and uh, show you about this smoker. Now it is made in China but I think a lot of smokers these days are whether it's the bellows type or what have you. It looks like it's well made. It's about looks to me to be the same size as your standard smoker, and um, it has a protective uh, mesh or steel uh, gate around here. It's got a little hook here where you can hang it on to the side of a beehive or someplace, and um, little uh, pull ring here. Now it comes with. This little grate here, and I've already bent the little tabs up here, so when it sits down, it'll go down right on the bottom of the smoker. The inlet is right here. The motor is in here, and then on the bottom, there's a fan. And that blows air out through here into the inlet of the smoker, as you can see here. And uh, that's how it works. So the battery compartment in here, now this runs off of uh, four AA batteries. You can use alkaline batteries, or as I'm going to be using, some nickel metal hydride batteries, rechargeable batteries. I just want to show you the battery compartment. Now this little screw here, it is very, very small. And uh, I think you could uh, just show you here. I think you could easily lose this screw. I'm not sure what the thread size is, but it's pretty small, probably a, a, a 632nd screw but I'm going to see if I can find some and have some spares but this holds the, the cover on and in here I've got the four AA uh, rechargeable batteries now the reason I put rechargeable batteries in here is because on the top of the handle here hopefully you can see that there is a micro USB port so you could probably plug this thing in with your rechargeable batteries and recharge your batteries right in here or just use alkaline batteries now you obviously you don't want to try to recharge alkaline batteries they're not made to be recharged and you could cause those batteries to explode or leak or something so you want to use nothing but rechargeable batteries now the batteries that I'm using in this uh, smoker are high capacity 2300 milliamp batteries And again, it takes four of them. And with these batteries in the compartment here, and if you use a USB plug, you can you can charge them up. Now, if you're out in the field, away from regular electricity, you could use a, a little power pack. All right, we wanted to show you, this is the little battery pack that uh, we have. We use it to, if need be, recharge our, our uh, phone or iPad, whatever. This is, uh, 22,400 milliamps, so it's got a lot in there. It is rechargeable. But again, you could have this, and um, you can take a, a cord, plug it into one of the ports here, and it goes, this is a USB into a micro USB, and then you could plug this right into your uh, smoker to recharge it. Let's get this smoker fired up and show you how it works. All right, we're going to start with a little piece of burlap. It's pretty much what we start off with quite a bit. Get our little propane torch going here to get it lit. And we brought along some pine needles. And some wood shavings. That's kind of typical what we use. Now we're just going to hit the little button here, turn on the fan. 
Okay, it's already putting out a good deal of smoke. I think we got a good smoldering thing. That's usually faster than uh, other times. So again, this is a momentary switch here. It'll only really put out a lot of smoke when you press the button. And it's not a complete on and off. As long as you have it to press this button, it'll put out smoke. So let's see how it does. Well, that's putting out a good deal of smoke. I can release it. Kind of dies down. And again, if you just need short little puffs, you just press this button for the length of time you need. And again, this is a nice cool smoke it's producing. And it really looks like it's producing a lot of smoke. Now, I am seeing some leaking kind of around here, but I think most bee, bee smokers will do that. <coughs> and anyway, it seems like it works really well. It was very easy to light. And, uh, oh, I should also point out that right here, there is some kind of material. It looks like it, it's a hard material. It looks like it could be a fiberglass the impregnated material that's like a little heat protection between the smoker and the plastic on the handle so um, that's that's a good idea and it looks like it produces a lot of smoke and again this switch here I had some concern that if it was just an on and off switch, it might wear out. But this switch here, as long as you're pressing it, it'll run the motor and the fan and it'll produce smoke. This seems to be working really, really good. And um, I'm going to be using this smoker for a while with my hives that you see back here. Um, and uh, give, it a, give it a try out. But, uh, I, I really like this uh, smoker. It, it's kind of nicely balanced. It fits good in the hand. And um, you don't have to pump it. How long are these four AA rechargeable batteries going to last? Probably quite a while. I imagine they would last easily all day if you're out working your bees. And, uh, and then you can recharge it. Or just have a set of regular uh, alkaline AA batteries, you know, four of them. Uh, with you so if, if it did run out or you forgot to charge it then you could just pop those in there they're very easy to put in and um, it'll work just fine now I just want you to listen this is not a real loud motor or fan now I paid about uh, $22.99, $23 on Amazon. That's where I first saw these. And I think they just recently came out with these. And uh, with Amazon Prime, which I'm a Prime member on Amazon, it was yeah, basically $23, $22.99, $23. I'm going to try to put a link down below to Amazon in case you're interested in one of these uh, smokers. And... Um, it comes complete. All you really need is batteries, either rechargeable or regular alkaline batteries, four of them, double A. And um, so it didn't come with any instructions, nothing. It just came in a cardboard box, and there it was. Um, you know, if you're a beekeeper, you're familiar with smokers, and you know where that little uh, uh, raised up uh, grid uh, plate goes in the bottom of the smoker. Uh, there's no difference in lighting up the smoker except instead of pumping the bellows you can hit the the button here to get the fan going. Um, I have a feeling this is going to last a pretty good time. I'm going to give this a good thumbs up. Uh, honestly my only issue is this little screw that closes up the battery compartment door. It's very small. You could easily lose it so you'd either have to get some spares or I'm going to see if I can maybe find a a little uh, thumb screw that 
is a little bit bigger and maybe not so easy to lose or maybe you should just keep some extra with you uh, so anyway that's my review of this smoker so thanks for watching and happy beekeeping